Greensboro, and I'm Camelia. We're here at the Folk Festival in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're here interviewing some local vendors that has amazing products. Also, we're going to be interviewing some artists as well. They come, they're coming from all different types of areas. Again, this is Greensboro Folk Festival, North Carolina, Greensboro. Hello, hi, this is Greensboro, and I'm Camelia. We're here at the Folk Festival with Magnolia House Honey. Here we have the owner of Sandy Abrams. And tell us a little bit more about your product. Okay, so we sell 100% pure, raw and organic honey. We are professional pollinators, and we are based out of Jackson, North Carolina. We have over 32 varieties of honey and honey products such as bee pollen, royal jelly, propolis, all these different things that are great for your health. We also have a very new thing that we made by accident actually, and it's called honey dust. Honey dust is nothing but dehydrated honey. And it's amazing for those cold drinks that you want to put honey in, and the regular honey will sink to the bottom, you know. This will dissolve in the cold liquid. So this is amazing, and we do that. We have uh, our bee pollen, which is an amazing thing for health, okay? And we have over, over, so over 32 varieties. Not only we carry local honey, but our award-winning honey is a North Carolina honey called Mountain Honey. It comes from this beautiful state, and it has won three awards in the States and one in Europe. So here we are, we have over 3,000 hives, and we move them and we pollinate actually from Maine to Florida. Wow, that's amazing. And so how long have you been doing this? It seems like forever, but it's about 10 years. 10 years. Okay, now bees are really, really important. So I run from them, but they're really, really important. Now let me tell you, you have to learn the difference. A bee is a small, round, and fussy. A yellow jacket has those little black and yellow things on the tail, and they are nasty. Bees will not bother you unless you hit them. Bees will stay away from you. I can actually put my hand on top of a hive. They'll climb all over, but they will not sting me. And they will not sting because of the mere fact that you are not being aggressive to them. You're being nice to them. So bees are an amazing thing we need for, we wouldn't have daily food if it wasn't for bees. Yes, I had to research that through my fear. <laughs> so I found that out. So, but bees, actually, I found out that there's a shortage of well, bees. What happens is the biggest enemy bees have is chemicals. And the reason being is like Monsanto has a lot of chemicals that people spray with. They are example. When they put a cotton seed in the ground now, it's already coated with chemicals. So if my bees were to pollinate a cotton field, they would die because they bring the poison back to the hive and it kills the babies. Hence the keys are disappearing. You might have in this neighborhood, for example, you can have a beehive. But if your next door neighbor is killing weeds with Roundup, that poison will come back to the hive and kill the bees. So uh, we are killing our own source of food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I learned that. That's amazing. Um, where can we find online? Because you do ship or direct order all over the United States and Europe and also South America. We, you can locate me at magnoliahousehoney.com. Or you can call me at 800-481-0306. Amazing. This is an amazing product. I just bought the honey dust, and I'm going to use it um, for my kids. And also, I have the stick. She has, like, watermelon flavor. They can just chew on that if they want something sweet throughout the day or something. It makes a great school snack. Yes, it does. You put it in the boxes, you know, for lunch. So instead of having a cookie, they have a honey stick. That is a great marketing tool. Yes. So awesome. Here you all have it. Again, Magnolia House Honey. Um, we're here with This is Greensboro at the Folk Festival. I'm Camelia, and thank you so much. I love your product. Thank you for watching This is Greensboro.